Jesse B scrapbooking here and today's um, layout is going to be this sketch here it's one of Christie's beautiful life 30 days of sketches and I am going to do some more logging pictures um, I'm trying to get all these pictures of this dilemma uh, scrapped and in our album and so I thought this sketch would be perfect for that one I'm using this paper pad. I got it at Walmart and I absolutely love it. It's very um, rugged and grungy and um, I picked a whole bunch of scraps and then this piece of paper for my background. Okay, so um, in the sketch it has a whole, it's, it's like on a diagonal and it has all these little pieces of paper kind of mismatched up in the corner. And um, I didn't take a really close look at the sketch. I just kind of glanced at it and seen all those papers and that diagonal shape and then the hexagons and thought, okay, I can do this. And then um, I just kind of went from there. I looked at the sketch afterwards a little bit closer and thought, oh, there's so much stuff I missed, but it's okay. It, it turned out really cute. I like it. So I'm going to kind of just figure out um, what I want for these strips of paper, and I'm just going to cut a whole bunch of these down in different widths and different lengths and just lay them. And, um, they end up not laying the way that I'm cutting them here and I place them down. I really like the way that they look here, but I move them all and when I do, I, uh, yeah, I didn't put them back the same way. <laughs> and that, that happens a lot. <laughs> so, um, I think these, uh, pages are perfect for this kind of you know uh, rugged outdoorsy because they're all wood grains and stuff so they work really good so I decided I want to turn my um, paper and I skipped me laying them out again so this time I just uh, skipped to um, gluing them down and there they are they're all glued down like I said and they're in a different um, layout and then I decide I want to use this isn't a hexagon that I have but it's close enough I don't know what is that shape called octagon octagon I think so anyway and then I get out my hexagon punch and I punch out the loader in this picture and the delimmer in this picture and I put it all together and I'm looking at it and I think I like it and so I end up asking my husband who was sitting right there beside me if I should do two small hexagons and he's like yeah that'd look good so that's what I end up doing <laughs> and I do one of the uh, loader or the delimmer and then one of the log deck And then I realized that the pictures were not going to be seen very well. Uh, they kind of get lost in the, all the stripes. So I grab out this piece of cardstock for the big picture. And it's just um, one that I had in my um, scrap spin. But it actually ended up being the perfect size. So I just cut around it. And um, I back the other little hexagons with just scrap paper from that I used in the background and I you know skipped you having to watch me back all those so I just backed them all in just little strip strips and then I'm trying to figure out how I want them to be placed and then I grab my little bitty hexagon punch and I pinch out three uh, out of that same cardstock that I backed the big one in and those are going to be where I uh, lay my um, embellishment clusters eventually they're kind of like my base for my embellishment clusters 
and I'm looking at it thinking there's not enough stripes. So I went to my washi bin and I pulled out um, these ones here and they're all in kind of a bronze and blacks are the ones I went for. And uh, I probably, looking at the picture, I probably should have used that bronze one in a couple more spots down lower. But um, when I was doing it, I didn't think about it. So I might end up going back in and doing that. I don't know. But it, it does, does give it that um, filled out feel a little bit more. And uh, so this one is the black with the little bronze dots. And the other one's bronze with black dots. And then this one here is more of a uh, clear with the bronze um I don't know, it's like a dramatic, uh, kind of like a floral pattern, but not really. It's just like a geometric pattern or something. And uh, then, then there's just a white one with the bronze dots. So I add all those in and then decide that my hexagons all need to be popped up. So I using this fun foam from Walmart and um, I put this first one on the big one and then I end up doing all all the pictures not the little um, tiny ones but all the pictures end up being popped up on fun foam and now I'll place the little uh, hexagons down at, in different spots Okay, so here's funny. I put all those pictures down, and none of them get put in the same spot I had them. I mean, they're close, but I ended up moving them all just a little bit closer to the big picture, and I like the way that they all kind of touch. I think that looks really good. So that's how I keep it. I finally commit, and here's the little ones going down. And now I decide to cut off all my extra pieces and fold my washi tape over. I don't make you watch me cut it all. You get the idea. I just turn it over so I have a better uh, view of how to cut it. And I'm gluing down all the edges. And there's the base. So this little bin is a whole bunch of, there's tons of stuff in here. But these are my little gears, and I got these little plastic gears at Walmart in the button aisle, and I just absolutely love them. I need more. <laughs> and then these butterflies I got at the dollar store, and they were just the perfect colors. And, um, you know, they're out in the woods, so butterflies make perfect sense to me. So I only used two of them, but I think that works perfect. And then I go back to my little bin here and grab out three yellow brads and stick them on there. And I like it because that pop of yellow matches that bronzy color um, washi tape at the top. So it kind of brings that color down lower. And then I have to add more um, gears because it just I wanted each little cluster to have either one or two gears in it. So I put those in. Yeah, but I, I just kind of like the grunge look of this. It's really, it really, it turns out really cute. And then these arrows were just the perfect color. So I put three arrows in, all pointing towards the big picture. Just kind of like to draw your eye to look at it. And so each cluster gets a different color arrow. And then this little camera, it's a little green camera. I put it in just because I wanted to. No reason. And uh, so I stuck that in there. And then this here says work week. And I was trying to figure out where I wanted it. I was going to put my title bigger down at the bottom like they have in the sketch. But then I found this little work week on one of my planner stickers. And I thought, oh yeah, this will work. So I end up sticking it right here. 
And in the picture here, the white isn't bad, but in person, I did not like that white color. So I end up um, coloring it eventually. But here's a, I am sticking down my brads finally. Um, this is just a little poker tool from the dollar store. I stick them down, flatten out the tines, and then that um, is just a piece of foam board also from the dollar store that I use for my background for my mat for poking. So I'm gluing all my gears down and with just my tacky glue and it works really good. I haven't had any problem with anything uh, popping off. So yeah, but this one just, just turned out really cute. Yeah, in that center picture, that big picture, that's my um, son's truck and he's actually in the picture too. He's up on the equipment um, fueling up. But he's pretty tiny in there, but I know he's there, so I'll have something in the journaling. I'll write journaling on the bottom later. I haven't done it. I'll probably use my white gel pen. And because these pictures weren't all taken together, these are like at three different times, but they're all about the same thing, so I figured they'd all could go on uh, one layout page. And, uh, Yep, here's where I'm coloring in the white on the work week with this um, gold pin. And I like that a lot better. It makes it, um, it look like it belongs there. And then with, um, I think I pull in some puffy dots. Yep, here they are. And this is about done. I hope you like it. There will be close-ups at the end. If you like it, please give me a thumbs up. If you want to see more, please subscribe. And if you already have, thank you very much. Have a good day. Bye.